Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy Comments. If you missed the first episode, there'll be a link for you. Uh, and basically the premise is that I'm giving attention to comments that deserve that attention the least. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Our first comment is by a guy named Chocolate Warship. He says, F*** it. He is as succinct as he is poetic. Nationalista tells us, LOL, I tell you what you are, a tolerant, submissive f One warning. Get yourself prepared, because when the SHTF, things are going to be rough for people like you. You know, guys, I'm already sensing a trend again. It's not a good sign. Darkstar tells us, shut up, f*** it. But in my head, it sounds more like him saying, shut up, I'm a bigot. It's like you're getting mad at me and then insulting yourself. It confuses me. Next guy says, but you're a faggot, and faggots can also dance. Argument fail. Well, speaking of arguments failing, I don't really know what he's talking about, but uh, perhaps he's referencing that I have re really two hobbies. One's talking about philosophy, and the other's dancing. Uh, nowadays, I get paid to do both of them, which is kind of cool. But I can kind of see how people think dancing is gay. I mean, dancing's feminine, and people who are feminine are often called gay. But who in the world came up with that rule? Wanting to hang out with a dainty girl with painted fingernails is way more feminine than wanting to hang out with some muscular hairy dude. I guess I just don't see what standard you guys are using to figure out what's gay and what isn't. Tranglo Mango says, Gay song, gay haircut, gay body weight, gay answer. Oh, okay, I get it. Everything's gay now. Leadman says, Poor girl, you're, gonna break her you're only going to break her heart when you come out later. Well, prophecy failed. Because she broke mine first. <laughs> Chuck says, look at that freaky homo dude. He probably stands naked in front of the mirror saying, Jesus loves me even though I'm a god freak. In the words of Socrates, if you thumbs up your own comment, it must be true. Bender tells us, I got your joke in the beginning, but you're still a homosexual, so it's not funny. Homosexuals are not funny, and this guy is no joke. Next guy tells us, the guy looked like a total fat. Why would the chick even be in the same video with him? I almost went Asian there for a second. Uh, but what are you talking about? The chick? You act like there's only one. I mean, check out these past videos. Cute girl. Cute girl. Cute girl. Cute girl. <coughs> uh, cute girl. And uh, cute girl. See, it's totally heterosexual. Rush fan tells us, And finally, dude, you're gay. It's obvious. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, it's totally obvious. I'm surprised Westboro hasn't picketed my videos yet. But I don't see where you guys get this. I mean, there's nothing homoerotic about my videos at all. I mean, check out this video. All I'm doing is talking about philosophy. And in this one, all I'm doing is posing half-naked in front of a camera. I mean, wait, what? Oh, sorry guys, wrong clip. Sam, did you play a prank on me? Oh, Sam, you're such a silly goose sometimes. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> I mean, uh, sorry about that, guys. My friend Sam was just helping me edit the videos together, and I think he must have picked the wrong clip to show you. Anyway, let's uh, see what else these people have to say. Scotty tells us, I would ask if you were f but the dude is definitely gay. Aw, oh, man, I'm really bummed that stopped you from asking your thought-provoking and incredibly relevant question. This next guy says, ha 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 ha, okay. Oh, wait, that's way too long. Let's skip to the good part. I hope a priest touches you enough for you to get it. What? <laughs> you hope a priest touches me? I just came here to talk about philosophy. You keep your kinky little fantasies to yourself. But how does that happen anyway? I come here to talk about Socrates or something, and uh, people end up just speculating about my sexual orientation. I feel like I say something like, The Socratic method is not about gaining truth, but it's instead about avoiding falsehood. But all anybody hears me say is, Oh, Socrates! Tom Vodka Collins tells us, P.S. The gangly boy couldn't hide in the closet if you painted him plaid and hung him on a wire hanger. Just saying. Looks like the joke's on you, Tom. But uh, on a serious note, I actually have a confession to make. I have actually used the word fag before. <laughs> Sam, you are so slow with that censorship button. You missed that one entirely. Gosh. Sorry, guys. If you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. Am I right? But uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I've actually used the word fag back in my uh, younger and dumber days, and I'm certainly not proud of that. 
I think eventually the world's going to come to realize that that kind of terminology is just as ignorant as racial slurs. Maybe one day. Uh, but one thing that does interest me, or I find puzzling, is that uh, so many people speculate about the sexual orientation of others. It seems you have to rely on stereotypes to even make that kind of speculation, so that seems kind of messed up. But uh, perhaps a better question is why do people care in the first place? And I haven't figured out that answer yet, so if you have any insight, feel free to enlighten me. Oh, and not to burst anyone's bubble, but I'm actually not gay. Um, sounds really convincing coming from a guy in the closet, right? Uh, <laughs> But uh, if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know. I have plenty more insults to go around. And uh, as always, test everything. Hold on to the good.